Okay, so this is a recap of building my GTX 1660 Super Mining Rig Live. Now during the live stream, I did have one issue of one GPU not showing up in the device manager, but I did fix everything up after the live stream. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of mining. All right, so I gotta switch it to my headset. So the microphone is gonna sound like trash. So just be aware. Hello. <laughs> How do I sound? Hopefully it sounds not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can build this in less than an hour. So the GPUs I'm, I'm using is Ventus XS GeForce GTX 1660 Super by MSI. All right, so I do have six of them right here. And, but this is the motherboard I'm going to use as of today. It's the H81 Pro BTC. Now this is one of the older motherboards. So it uses the older CPUs, the LG 1150, not the 1151. And then for the power supply, I'm going to use a EVGA 1300 watt G2 power supply. And basically I use this power supply for everything. All my mining rigs use these power supplies. Um, they are super reliable and uh, they're quiet as well. I have a, my RAM right here and of course my CPU is a Pentium. All right and then for the for the SSD I'm using a 120 gigabyte SSD. Oh yeah this is the beta frame <laughs> and I do have my iFixit screwdriver right here so iFixit if you're watching hit me up. All right, so I'm gonna work on it and then hit see what chat says and I'll bounce around. So let's first, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and install the motherboard. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Let's first put in the RAM. So I'm gonna try to speed time this cause I feel like me just screwing these screws in is kind of boring, so. Okay, so I'm going to just probably build it really quick now. Once I'm done building it quick, I'm going to like clean it up or fix it up later. All right, so if you're building a mining rig, you do want to put all the screws in so it's like stable, but I'm just going to put four in just to speed the process up. Oh, so next on what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a power supply. I'm not going to put in the cables yet. I'm just going to put it on right here just to set it up. And of course, six 1660 supers, one 1300 watt power supply is more than enough because let's say if I don't underclock all of them, at most they should put pull only around like 1200 watts. So we should be good even if like the overclocks fail. So let's put this on. Oh, but really quickly, uh, what of the day today is by 50 cents, get rich or die trying. That's the quote of the day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and now put on I guess the GPUs. Actually, let's first connect the SSD. So of course you need one of these connected to the motherboard. So the SSD is all hooked up. Let's go ahead and now put on the GPUs. And of course, these are the 1660 Supers from MSI. Oh, so one thing I had to do. So with these VETA frames, when you first install it, the middle part right here, like this, is actually supposed to be the other way around. But the thing is, these GPUs are kind of like small. So when it was the other way around, it like fell down. So basically I had to take apart this top part and flip this around. So now the GPUs can sit on this rail.
All right, so I got another, uh, I got a fun fact, a fun fact here. So really quickly for a fun fact, did you know in the ocean, there are over, there are over 3,000 species? Fun fact. So last GPU right here. Okay, so real talk. Um, if I wasn't in a rush, what I would be really doing is, so each of these GPUs require two screws. So I'd actually put two screws, but uh, like I mentioned, let's go ahead and keep going. But just to make it like more stable, cause it will like build still if you don't have both on. But then of course, uh, let's go ahead and put on the power power button. We got to do that in the beginning. All right, there you go. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's actually first connect this, the PCIe risers to the motherboard. And uh, my bad. Let me look at chat real quickly. Also, NCC seventeen oh one. Why using those gloves? You right. I don't need these gloves. Let's take them off. They're slowing me down. <laughs> I thought it would be more professional to use gloves. Get them out of my face. <laughs> the thing is, uh, Jose is depending on the news, which should be coming out soon, which is the announcements for the new graphics cards. Um, it may be best to wait just to see what the news is. But uh, let's keep going, let's keep going. All right, so I took off the gloves. I should be faster now. <laughs> All right, so we're good with, to go with the PCIe risers. So two of the risers, of course, I'm gonna use Molex because I have two extra Molex. So what I have been using is the remaining uh, four. I've been using all SATA. You know, people are saying like, you know, SATA is not too good. So what other people are doing are using splitters. For example, they're splitting their GPUs like this. Hopefully you can see. So they're using splitters like this. So a couple of my friends do this. They use splitters like this. And I tell them, I think this is more dangerous. But they haven't had issues. So uh, I don't know what you guys think. All right, do you think it's safer to do this and do this and then connect this to the risers? Or do, would you rather just have this connected to the GPU and use a SATA? It says, Surfin says not a problem on lower power cards like the 1660. As far as wiring, as long as you're not overdrawing and crazy, it should be fine. You are correct. Since these are all low powered, SATA shouldn't really affect it. All right, so let's go ahead and so right now I'm putting I'm connecting the GPUs to the power supply. All right. OK, so we're pretty much almost done. So I do have one of these. All right, so I'll 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 test one out with one of them. I mean, I've done this before, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, yeah, so what I've seen a lot of my friends do this as well. Which I think is okay, but I feel like you don't really need to do this. I do see people do this with one 8 pin. They'll split it to the riser and the GPUs. Which I guess is safe as well. Alright, but we're pretty much done. I'll go ahead and power it on here, 
But then I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to my mining farm. So let me turn it on really quickly. Alright, make sure everything's good. It's on! <laughs> we did it, chat. We did it. We built the 1660 Super Mining Rig. So really quickly, part list. 61560 Super from MSI. Motherboard is the H81 Pro BTC by ASRock. The power supply is a 1300 watt G2 power supply by EVGA. I have a Pentium processor. It's the LG1150. And that's a Z48, my RAM. And of course, I do have six PCIe risers and the frame is the VETA mining frame. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna put this back to my mining farm and let's go ahead and hop on my computer and I'll show you the overclocks I'm using, the hash rates I'm getting. Okay, so I do wanna mention that during the live stream, for some reason, one of the GPUs was not showing up in the device manager. So after the live stream, I did fix everything up and if you did check out my device manager, you'll see all six GTX 1660 supers working. Okay, so to overclock my GPUs, I'm gonna use MSI Afterburner. And I did put the power limit at 65, the core at zero, and the memory at 800. Okay, so for the hash rates, I did just record this from a monitor, so it may not look too great. The reason why is if I did use a remote desktop, I did lose a good amount of hash rates. So the miner program I'm using is called Claymore Miner version 15.0. And now running this miner, you can see that I'm getting around 30.2 mega hashes per each GPU. So in total, the whole mining rig is getting around 181.2 mega hashes. But let's check this out. So thanks for checking out my recap building my GTX 1660 Super Mining Rig Live. And if you do want to get me live to ask me questions or just to hang out and watch a show, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 9 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And I will occasionally stream some random days. So definitely catch me live. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub your study, see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching The Life of a Miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to The Life of a Miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on The Life of a Miner.